you might be sitting there thinking, why is he dressed like an idiot? And to you, I say, it's a fashion choice. Nah, I'm just kidding. But this is as close as I could get to 19th century London fashion. And I know it's not close, but then, yeah, uh, who cares? Uh, the reason why I'm dressed like this is because today we are playing game in from that period. Uh, today we are playing one of the best strategy games of all times. One of my absolute favorites. Today we are playing Frostpunk. Hi, I'm Jake and this is Bodzy Gaming. Welcome to the Frostpunk. Frostpunk uh, is a super cool, super cool strategy game. And yes, pun intended. Um, and today we are going to play Frostpunk scenario number one, A New Home, which is the main story. And yeah, let me read this. To preserve civilization from the chaos of its own downfall, we have fled to the end of the world. We will have to adapt to survive. Who will we become in the process? And we're gonna play it without the survivor mode. Survivor mode is basically that you don't have any active pause and you are not saving your progress. <clears throat> Sorry about that. Uh, and we are going right in. Uh, yeah, let's let's just go to the cutscene right away. We roam the still, cold world. No horizon in sight. The rulers of old, stripped of pride and glory. It feels as yesterday we were turning the wheels of progress. Until the frost stopped it all. Suddenly, without a warning. When tides had changed, they changed for all of us, no matter wealth or class. We lost our world to snow. And with it, our last traces of humanity. who remained came the time to adapt. We decided to leave our homes and head north. We roamed for weeks, maybe months, leaving behind all the things we once believed had made us. It was hope that pushed us forward. Slowly, step by step, we knew the cost of our journey, and we paid the price a hundred times. Finally, the time has come to build the last city on Earth. How awesome was that intro? How, how, how amazing the soundtrack. I, I have to say kudos to the developers because it's, it's super amazing and I'm super pumped. I don't know about you. How pumped are you? I'm super pumped to build the last city of the world. So yeah, uh, a new home. We fled from London and crossed the sea to reach the frozen north. On the way, our convoy was hit by a blizzard and scattered. A handful of us managed to reach the site of this generator only to find it frozen solid and abandoned. Uh, why is no one here? Uh, did any of our people survive the blizzard? Are there any others out there? Uh, whatever we do, we should expect the worst now that the world as we know it has crumbled. Amazing. So this game basically... Uh, play itself in alternative universe let's say where with in the 19th century 19th century came like unexpected uh, ice age new ice age so 
we have fled London. We are somewhere in the northern no north. Let's I would assume let's call it like n Norway or somewhere there maybe even further north. And this is the map for our last city on the world. So our first goal is fight the cold. We need to get the generator working. It provides heat and power to other buildings. Without it, we will freeze to death. Stockpile some coal and start the generator. Let me pause here. Uh, first, let's go to the to the interface that you uh, that you are seeing here. So the interface is you know this thing up, this thing at the bottom, and that's it. No, I'm just kidding. Let's go. Let's go. Uh, let's see what's what's what. So here you have like your supplies. Uh, as you can see, we have zero coal. Coal you need for running the generator and for generating heat and uh, energy. Uh, wood and steel you need for building buildings, obviously. And uh, steam cores are like a special thing that you need for building like advanced and special buildings. Uh, you will need later on in the game uh, as for people you will need food for them So you are collecting raw food and turning it into the food rations uh, Which they need to survive uh, This game has four speeds or three speeds and one pass uh, to run and they are you know shortcutted into uh, to space bar uh, to one two and three and you are or I'm at least switching constantly between them, uh, between the pause and and uh, third speed because you know it's speeding up the the, the boring parts. You have a uh, daytime here. Uh, you have a temperature here, and you have something like a weather forecast, let's say, or over overlook over next few days. And as you can see, we are in a day one at the beginning of the day one and. In day four, uh, the temperature will drop by two levels. So by that time, we need to be somehow uh, at least slightly prepared. At the bottom, here you see your current goals or goal. Uh, there is construction, obviously self-explanatory. There are buildings that you can build. Uh, later on or later within a few minutes, there will be our, like a research bar or a research tab here where you are researching new buildings, technology and upgrading your generator and stuff like that. Here you have economy and book of laws. Economy is just overlook on your supplies, how much you are producing per day, how much you are spending per day. So you can keep closer look on those. Book of Laws, since you are the captain of this new city, mayor of this new city or whatever you want to call it, uh, you have the option to sign certain laws. And those, those laws are affecting the game. So you can sign, for example, emergency shift. So you can force people to work not 12 hours, but uh, about uh, 24 hours. Uh, that has effect, obviously, on people and on the workforce. And the effect you can see here. Uh, you have basically discontent and uh, hope. You want to have the hope as high as possible and discontent as low as possible. Uh, because the more hope you have, the people are people are more willing to you know forgo some things, some uh, let's say not that humanitarian uh, humanitarian actions that you will have to do uh, during the game. And this content is basically you know um, direct response to your actions. Up here, you will see throughout the game uh, some things that you need to solve or current issues. Like for for now, like now, exam uh, for example, we have 80 people in our city that they are actually homeless, so they are just around this uh, generator and and yeah. Uh, here you can see the split between the people you have. Basically, you have 50 uh, ideal uh, idle workers workers. Uh, you have 15 engineers and you have 15 children, which you cannot, you know, you cannot uh, em employ unless you have, uh, unless you developed or signed this threat to children to be able to work. As for the map, as for the map, uh, on map, on in your city or in your crater, uh, you will find... Uh, 
resources that you can uh, collect but they will disappear after you collect them so here you see we have wooden crates uh, we have 120 woods here same thing here we have stock uh, steel wreckage uh, we have some coal pile here they are limited so once you collect them they are not longer there but there are there are some uh like resources uh, that you you will have to tap in and they are you know infinite so for example coal deposit once you build a coal mine here for which you will need a steam car uh you are uh, you are good for for coal production uh, this is for steel and for wood you can tap in the wall like with a wall drill it's called the building and then you have infinite supply of of wood okay so uh the map is actually bigger your city is somehow in the center and once you build a beacon uh, you can you know create uh, scouting uh, scouting parties and send them around around the map to look forward to look for uh, survivals and to look for additional supplies mainly for steam cores because steam cores you cannot manufacture uh, everything else you can manufacture or somehow collect or something steam cores uh, are very very rare and you need to basically find them okay so let's get to the game finally it was long long intro sorry for that let's get to the game uh, so uh, we have uh, minus 20 degrees celsius right now it's chilly everywhere chilly is good as you can see chilly there is a just low risk of getting ill uh, livable is perfect uh, or good and comfortable is like super 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 good like perfect uh, on the other hand the cold very cold and freezing are super super bad logically so you want to keep your people in this categories in these categories uh, like comfortable livable or chilly once they get here the shit gets south so uh, the first thing we want to do is we want to uh, somehow establish establish the the resources the production and everything around it for that we need to you know go through maybe three days i would say so let, let's start let's start the first thing and most important thing in this game is research so uh, the first thing you want to build is actually the workshop and don't don't let me forget the signing law because you want to sign as much law as many laws as possible and you can do it every every 24 hours so uh first law i usually sign is this emergency shift uh, you are forcing or you can force uh people to work for 24 hours which we will not do because it raises discontent greatly but i want to get to the extended shift the extended shift allows you to force people 14 hours and which still raise discontent but just slightly and that's fine with us and we can solve our you know short terms issues with uh, with supplies uh with that so we need to sign emergency shift and uh we sign it to next next uh, law we can sign to uh next law we can sign is for in something like 30 hours of the gameplay and uh, 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 uh yep 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 you will see the effect you will see like the discontent raise uh, as long uh, as soon as i unpass this game so we are building the workshop here and we need to focus on a uh, on uh, resources at the first day so i'm gonna build gathering pose here which will allow me to collect these piles and also i'm gonna assign 15 people here for uh, to the wooden crates and 15 people here first day you have two options either you have to build living or houses for every one of uh, one of the people you have or you have to turn on the uh, turn on the generation generator to keep them warm during the night so you can either focus on collecting uh coal so you can keep that generator running or and i found it you know better 
you can do it this way and collect as much wood as possible and make sure that at the end of the workday which is at uh, 18 hours 6 hours 6 p.m uh, you have at least 80 wood 80 wood will provide you with possibility to build uh, tents for everyone and they will you know survive the night so we are established let's run the game as you as, as i said the discontent uh raised a bit we can we can i mean i have enough workers to do even this we are collecting wood we need we need a street here so let us do this and now we have the workshop so we put five engineers there and we add new research and our new research will be fast gathering basically you have three four 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 uh, sheets here or let's say four categories heating here you are improving your generator explore uh, exploration and industry here you are improving your scouting parties and uh, factories i will show you that later uh, resources those are basically buildings and upgrades for buildings to collect resources food and health is this this is food this is health that you are upgrading for for your people and resources are crucial at the beginning so let us start with this and let's run the game the reason why you do not and let me assign five and five the reason yeah let me let me see what's this yes uh so sir a family came uh, a woman came forward after we built the workshop uh, she said that her husband and daughter didn't reach the city with the main group, but she's sure they are still out there. She wants to join our first scout team uh, we'll send out. She urges you to hurry. So she is telling you to build a uh, beacon so we can send out scouting parties. And yeah, and wh 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 what was I saying before? Yes, uh, the reason why I'm not building the uh, tents yet is that i want to get as much of it as possible so at approximately two hours people will ask for housing i will promise them to you know build houses and then i right away i build houses for them and that will lead to you know hope rising very quickly and very easily from the beginning we have enough wood to yeah do and and now they are asking for it yes no roof over our heads captain people are understandably concerned about the lack of shelter they are falling ill from sleeping outside in this terrible cold we better do something about it and you have three options you don't need to address it but the discontent will rise or you can you know meet them at the middle ground you can promise them to provide some shelter and you have two days to provide shelter for 40 people or you can go full in that will bring more uh, most hope possible and you can promise them that you will provide shelter for everyone and that's exactly what we want to do because we have enough supply of wood to build eight houses which we need to to accommodate 80 people so three four five six seven and eight the reason why i'm building it around the generator is once you turn it on it radiates heat and at the beginning it radiates heat only in this to this first circle around it around the generator later on you can upgrade it of course to you know the the zone to zone to be uh, bigger but at the beginning just here and since we are not turning it on it's not important but still you know build in a circle around it the wisdom of the ground yeah Captain, when facing demands, remember this. People usually look for the quickest solution, not the best one. You don't have to agree to everything. They ask for it. If you fix the problem your way, it's fine. And thank you. Uh, so you usually you, you want to do everything as possible to keep the hope as high as possible. So you have to meet them at least in the middle ground. And you need to, you know, once once you promise them something, the heating is off. I know. Once you promise them something, you need to keep your promise. Otherwise, it has disastrous effect 
on 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 the hope and on the disconnect uh, discontent so as you can see it's midnight and yes we have fulfilled our promise and we provide shelter for everyone so the hope rises as you can see and since they are if you check the temperature they are livable in in livable conditions so yeah we are we are fine we have four sick but we can solve that easily now we can sign the extended shift which will allow us to force them to work longer hours which we want to do right now and what was i going to do ah yeah we need to address these four sick people so we're gonna build a medical post here i'm gonna also build another gathering post here and connect it i want to connect it from here to here shoot i forgot to con <laughs> connect this to this yeah okay 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 so and i don't need 15 here i don't need 15 here so i have 30 30 people available right now i don't need those 15 here uh 30 people available and this day approaching means that i want to i want to start let me assign five engineers here that means those four sick will be taken care of as you can see they are in, they are treated i want to assign 10 people here i have researched the fast gathering so i can research something else i can research beacon which i want to research as a second and i want to i need to address food because three days i believe is the deadline for you know providing people with food and uh, for that I need to build a cook house let me build it here as for cook house cook house is turning the raw food into the food rations so I, I will assign five but I don't need five people here and as you can see they are turning right away uh, the food into the food rations and we need to address the th uh, the fact and we have researched a beacon so we can build the beacon and research in the meantime what do i want to do i want to do actually second level mm -hmm. if i uh, let me do it vice versa i first i build a beacon and i will build it here because I'm, I'm building it here because it has this long string that if you build it somewhere within your site like not like here it would you know it, it would be obstacle to your vision and you don't want that uh, plus if you build it here not here like i was thinking previously uh, you can take advantage of this road that you build and you can build a hunting a hunting uh, I will get to that later. Just build it here. <laughs> and we can sign now. We have 40 wood. We are almost at the end of the day. So we do not... I do not want to do this. I want to do what What I want to do. What I want to do. I want steel works. How much steel do we have? We have steel, work, steel here, here. There's only 31 and 45 here. So we have... For now we have enough steel. So what I want to do, Hunter's Gear. Okay, okay. Let me do Hunter's Gear. Hunter's Gear basically uh, gives more effectivity to your hunters, which will you need to provide with uh, to be provided with the raw food. Raw food. And I have forty-seven wood. Forty-seven. It's fine. Forty-seven is good. The heating is off. I know, but we are fine. I'm not up till here we are fine with no heating don't be stressed out and the beacon is built so we can see how this super cool balloon is released as a beacon for our city wow this is like the <laughs> like uh, this is this is what steampunks mean to me you take like 
like 18th or 19th century uh 19th century tech and you put it into f in, into frozen ground and you have steampunk frostpunk so uh, this is the map this is uh, this is the map that we are working with the uh, this is our city and we have to you know employ five people and 40 woods to create our first scouting party and send it to lost expedition uh, lost expedition are the people that we are currently missing and uh, we need more people we still have 25 available but i will build uh you know for a call because we need to we need to start collecting coal so i'm gonna build gathering post here we need to take care of our food so uh we gonna need some people and we have adaptation adaptation we can sign a new law as for children you have 15 children and if you sign the child labor save jobs the hope will fall and uh, children will be injured and but you get like extra extra uh, extra people uh, to work with uh, but i usually go for the child shelters because i'm sucker i'm uh, too much human human humanitarian to uh, you know <laughs> to employ the children in in a dangerous work so uh, yes we need to win and let me just and da, 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 da. we have 15 wood 15 steel what we can can we build yeah we can build resource but i need hunter's hut and for that we need 20 20 okay 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 let me do this because we need more did i actually i did not uh <coughs> let us go through the night yeah people will get sick Because if you check the temperature, we are livable, but livable is very low risk of getting ill, but not 0% risk of getting ill. So people will get sick. You can build additional medical posts to solve the, you know, five in, because medical post has capacity of five people. So you can build another one and another one and another one. No, 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 we're gonna, no, we're not gonna build another one, but we're gonna build, uh, hunter's hut actually two of them as soon as we can hunter's hut are providing you with the raw food which you need and ooh, in the morning i somehow forgot to do this <laughs> and we have reached our survivors uh you can either send survivors, but you are risking that they, you know, will take... First of all, they will take longer and you are risking that some of them may die. If you are escort, if you escort them, it's quicker, they are quicker in the city and um, you, they will not get hurt. And since we are super close to our city, we are just gonna escort them and then, then go, go further, further from the city. And... Doo -doo -doo. Come on, come on, come on. Okay. 15 people work here. I have enough wood. Come on, build it. Build it. Okay, we have reached the city. Our survivors, our additional survivors for which, by the way, we need to build additional, additional living, housing. Okay, so it's heartwarming to see families reunited after so many hardship. But shouldn't there be other settlements nearby? The first expedition left London long ago. They ought to be well established by now. They're, they'll are, they will surely help us finding our footing. Don't count on it. <laughs> no spoilers, no spoilers. Sturdy shelter. We need to go to sturdy shelter. Let's check sturdy shelter. Let's do this the work they ended i'm gonna prolong it a bit and we need to build four more and yeah yeah, yeah. okay so one one two three four, one two three yeah, yeah. i manage let me do this way connect this so the housing is solved i have 62 wood 
so i can do i need heaters heaters i will need to i will show you later hunters are built and 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 i need to build a child shelter and i will need to sign a new law so yeah 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 let me do child shelter that does not need like super heating so i do it here here uh the reason why uh, i haven't said it so the reason why i built hunters out here is that is that it has its own heating so you don't need to build it around the generator you just you know position it around the further the furthest away from the from the generator because there it will not take up space that you could use for anything else and it's fine so it doesn't need heating and da -da -da -da, yeah research and i will sign the new law which will be engineer apprentice uh this allows children to help engineers in uh you know research and everything that's engi that engineer that uh, engineer engineers do or you can sign them as medical apprentice and they will help engineers uh in you know medical medical establishments and since we're gonna face like a huge amount of sick people i'm gonna assign them as medic helpers let's build let's build let's build the heating is off i know we have we still have time don't worry about it don't worry about it don't worry about it my friend children cared for yeah we've built the children home oh food we still have some food do i have people i have people i can i need to build not cook house damn it Hunter's hut. Right here, connected here. And it's here. The winter is here. So, for that, look at how many sick do we have. For that, we're gonna turn on the generator. As you can see, the generator generates heat, so we are still cold here. If I speed it up, uh, it's just chilly. So we are on the lowest possible, and we've okay, okay, okay. So as you can see, we've collected everything that was within the reach of this gathering post, and everything that was within the reach of this gathering post now we need to think and uh, because if you see there is not one wood left so for the wood we gonna need a building and choice one is a sawmill choice two is a wall drill sawmill is a building that allows you to gather these fallen trees you see and uh, you eventually want to build the the wall drill because that's like i said you know it's infinite supply but 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 but, but, but. Yeah, yeah yeah i'm gonna yeah we're gonna work on it we need to survive two days then it, it's gonna get warmer so note of thanks we just want to thank you back in london it was only the wealthy that didn't have to send their kids to work in this new world you are creating uh we can see things will be different yes they will but not in a way that you will you would expect uh wood and food rations and mainly steam cores found that found our our uh, scouts so that's great that's great we want to <laughs> That's the issue. Uh, now, since we do not have like super, super enough wood in our city, I tend to send them, send the scouts back to the city to bring the the resources that are f they found. Mm, yeah, yeah. Let me do that. Come back, come back. I need the wood because that way. I can skip.
skip the sawmill and I can directly go for the wall drill. So right now I have 100 wood so I can explore or research uh, drawing boards that will allow you that will allow me to research wall drill and we solve by that the lack of wood. Uh, I have four sick and they're gonna get more sick so let me build let me build additional additional metal post because we need metal post and we have 20 food rations that we need to turn into food uh, 20 uh, raw ra uh, raw food that we need to turn into food rations but as you can see the building is not working because it's 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 colder than it's supposed to be but what you can do is either like this you can turn the heater off uh, turn the heating on this is what what we have uh, researched or you can do it like this and this so it's working it's working it's live food the generator hums blah 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 but we need to do wood and we need to find more settlements and we need to turn heating on here and we need to employ additional uh, uh, another another uh, uh, engineers and since there is no more food raw food that we need to turn in food rations we can turn this on because it has effect on how much we are producing versus spending because as you can see like check it out uh, right now the consumption is negative uh, 168 per day that means we are stockpiling 168 coal per day uh, but if I turn this on it's consumption a negative for once what heaters minus 34 minus 24 so 10 additional 10 uh, per day we are you know spending so we don't need that now but what is it, you see this coal consumption is ah okay okay okay, okay i got it it's not like it all together it's like you know a, 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 it's like some su summer uh, summarization of this it's not like you know this versus this okay okay i got it uh we have three people sick one people sick and all of them are being treated that's great that's great uh, the scouts will reach our city in treat one yes we can we have them we had them reach our city and now we're gonna send them here so we have enough wood right now we have like super oh they are getting sick people yeah that's because you know these buildings are like more likely to get people sick uh, 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 uh. it's gonna be fine it's gonna be fine ah we have a new law that we can sign and the law we're gonna sign you can go this way you can go this way you can go this way i'm gonna go this way <laughs> let me let me clarify this is like the fun stuff you fight fighting arena uh, stuff like this this is like take the people people's mind of the problems soup and food additives uh, basically both decrease uh, or increase discontent and lower the hope so we do not want to do that uh, cemetery and corpse disposal this is something you need to solve once someone dies and since we are you know fine now and there there is like little risk of someone dying so we want to go this here uh, because this threat if you do not have it signed once someone gets frostbitten is it the right word frostbitten let's say it's the right word <laughs> frostbitten then they tend to uh, commit suicides and you don't want that because that greatly greatly decreases uh, hope so you want to sign it like precautiously and uh, you have two options you have sustain life uh, it will raise the discontent slightly basically you are not cutting off their frozen limbs but they are still uh, staying as a burden on you burden or radical treatment treatment you are cutting off their limbs but uh, the effect is basically the same but you know it's up to you if you want to keep frostbitten people 
like there are or if you want to cut off their limbs and since i know that you know the current actual treatment for for frostbite is uh, to you know cut off them limbs to prevent gangrene we're gonna go that yeah hope will arise this content will rise also yep 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 and we have additional raw food so we're gonna turn this on so they can cook yeah yeah we have plenty plenty of food not plenty but let's say good we have enough enough wood we are we are fine we have we have somehow established so it's best time to build additional workshop actually you know what do i have engineers i do have engineers let me do two the way it works is once you have uh, one workshop you are you know researching at given speed with two you are uh, you have like 30 percent boost with uh, three of them you have like 50 percent boost boost i think and it grows mm, it grows with every every other uh, every additional one so you want to have you know like five of them six of them something like that and we have researched the drawing boards so we can go for wall drill that we want that we need uh, 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 everything is great food is good i don't need heat it anymore you saw you saw the speed you saw how quick it was and i can build right now the wall drill So we will have the wall drill and it's going to tell us that we've spent our first steam core. We have just used our first steam core. Steam cores are necessary components in advanced technology. We, can, we can't manufacture steam cores in the city. So let's hope that our scouts will, our scouts find them during their explorations. Exactly. Exactly what I said. So we can employ the engineers for additional another research and that's gonna be more scouts and I, I want more scouts because there are if you check this there are like more and more uh places to go and we need to find those steam cores build 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 before the night comes because then you get get sick and i will have to treat you Mm, how am I with people? I have 22 people. I will spend 10 here. So I have 12 people. That's enough. I will build it tomorrow because when the people, when your workers are building the buildings during night, they tend to get sick. Uh, care house. If you go with care house, you basically give place you you are building a place for people with you know cut off limbs to stay in which is great and it uh, it raises hope greatly you want to do that but i'm gonna wait with it and i'm you will see why in a few minutes uh what i'm gonna do is extra rations for the ill or or overcrowding overcrowding provides you with a higher capa uh, higher capacity f of of the medical 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 uh, establishments extra rations will give you ability to boost their healing mm, overcrowding uh, yeah this r rise this content so i i tend to go with uh, extra rations And we can move along, move along. Yeah, they are getting sick. Uh, don't worry, we're gonna we're gonna treat them. And it's getting warm. That means the discontent will fall. Yes, the temperature is going up. And the discontent falls. People are less less getting sick. Okay, so wood we uh, wood production we have established we need to upgrade our food production so let me build additional additional hunting shed and we need to establish steel because 
we have plenty plenty of coal yet so i need i need i need to research it first right 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 <laughs> and we have found automation 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 is basically like this creature this octopus this uh, steampunk octopus that uh, allows you to you know s s substitute workers for it uh, it's great so send it to the city automation send to the city and now the shit gets real i'm gonna show you why once the once the scouts will reach the winter home site People are wondering, uh, finding the bridge to Winterholm proved that we are on the right track, but raise the questions. Why was the bridge deserted? Why wasn't the automation under the care of an engineer? There are logical explanations to it all, but people are growing anxious, anxious and they should be. And they should be, and let me boost rations here and i don't need heating i need rations that gives us you know higher performance of the medical medical staff and uh better better healing for the for the sick so as you can see this goes down this goes up blah, blah, blah. we are researching that's great we have some food it's great we're gonna build here we're gonna send 12 people there it's gonna be great everything is great more scouts researched perfect perfect now i need steelworks i said i need steelworks and so we're gonna employ 15 here now these people have yeah there is no more coal to be collected therefore we need to move on and set up gathering post here we're gonna move people there i'm i'm somehow struggling oh, okay okay i have too much too many people here so i can decrease it by three i have 13 10 will go here so i need i need five people for additional scouts okay let me do it and let's go to the observatory let's go to the observatory and yep 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 people are getting treated it's great everything's fine we have four days before an another temperature drop and all eight people here i need un i need more people Weather station. Uh -huh. We are here. We found the steam cores. That's great. But we found scientists' notes. They predict that the great cold is going to get much worse. What more troubling is that the observations and ended abruptly months ago. There are there's also not a can of spam spam, uh, not even a crumb of bread <laughs> left in the pantry. It's obvious they they have moved out for good we can see the city of winter home from the roof of the weather station okay take the resources and go to winter home okay i i, I forgot about the weather station so you 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 will see what happens when they reach winter home uh the recent reports for the weather uh, from the weather station has got people talking uh they are frightened that such an important facility was facility was apparently abandoned some are starting to wonder whether the evacuation from london was a good idea a few lamenting openly i knew we shouldn't have come at least london had real houses not tents and wooden shacks yeah they are going to bitch about it let me do two from here and two here because the coal is somehow more important right now no okay move move along move along yeah they are getting sick i will need to upgrade the range of the of the 
explore um yeah so we have found survivors and i want to we are close and we need them like really bad let's escort them let's escort let's let's escort them how, how many how many w was that uh 34 so we we're gonna need four tents more one two three and four um like this like this like this do, 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 do. steelworks researched perfect we can build a steelworks right away right away too people are coming where should i connect it i will do it like this mm -mm -mm. so a new research don't forget about the new research what we want let's do the range upgrade and we go oh. okay okay i i will need to upgrade our food production because we are we are not bad on it we are not like super super bad we have th uh, food to eat yeah now we're gonna do care house but for that i'm waiting for the scouts to reach the winter home because then it will be needed and you will you will see why generator upgrade uh, is been is done and now i need i need i need i need this will help me to heal people's sick sick people faster by 10 percent that's great i need the food though for that i need the third upgrade let's do the third upgrade first first let's do the third upgrade and people have reached our city and scouts have reached our city and we can send them back and now you will see why so the streets of the ruined city are littered with scores of uh, dead bodies uh, the city chronically chronicle uh, describes the shortage of food and citizens increasing despair uh, the following squabbles 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 riots and descend into anarchy fight for dwindling dwind dwindling resources and the eventual starvation the last entry god forgive us we were eating our death there's no hope so winter home is not there so we cannot count on their help and that has some like thunderstruck value to our people so the hope falls like hell and they are you know bittering about it and they are afraid that we will not manage and come on people i will guide you through this don't worry just you know calm down calm the hell down don't don't yell at me this is me this is us Woohoo! and people are still yelling so winter ho winter home has fallen they are all dead how will we survive here without any help we have to go back to london there's no hope for us here in this frozen desert people start together as the news of the fate of winter home spread through the city some of them want to drop everything and flee to london panic is starting to set in and now we have additional things to our you know book of laws to sign you have two options you can go order and discipline and you can go faith and spiritual strength and um, <clears throat> i have tried like this faith and spiritual strength like three times i believe and it didn't work for me very well it's it's i'm not saying it's bad it's basically you know 50 50 but uh, for me it's always order and discipline and please do not consider me like you know big dictator <laughs> um yes so we can right now we can sign laws for a uh, purpose but what i want to do since our hope dropped tremendously uh, i want to sign care house now because care house uh, will raise 
the the hope like immediately right now we get here plus once we build it <coughs> and we will build it right away uh the hope will grow even even higher and yes uh, in winter home we can actually establish our outpost uh from where we can get like regularly uh some wood but we don't need wood we already have a wall drill that we're gonna maintain so uh, i do not need to go there uh instead we want to go to snow cliff come on build everything And Londoners are here. Sir, you've convinced the majority, but hope is low. A group of our people are still so scared that they want to flee the city for London in 15 days. They have come to try to change your mind. You say order will save us. Nonsense. What are we going to orderly decide who to eat first when we start to starve? If we don't try to reach London, we will end up like winter home. No, we don't come the fuck down. <clears throat> so Londoners are basically people who want to leave in 15 days. There are 11 people from our 150 that want to leave. And the higher the hope is, the l the tendency will, you know, be or become to stay to stay in our city uh, so you want to raise the hope as fast as possible uh, to get rid of the Londoners you can eventually convince all of the Londoners to stay uh, usually or the let's say average uh, is that some some people leave not like majority but let's say I know 20 30 people leaves <clears throat> but obviously you should you should try to uh, try to keep them keep as much people uh, as possible in your city because you need to you need them for um, uh, you know for maintaining the city so we have built a care house that gives us more hope the tendency for Londoners is still on their side <coughs> we are building this shoot we do not have that much people so let me do five here five here automation arrived that's great that we needed the automation badly like we have few people mm, so let us use the automation i will show you how in a while so we have now one free automation that we can use use for uh, every production let's say building and I want to use it for a uh, for wall drill uh, automation at the base has I believe 60% effectiveness but it works around the clock so you will you will get like 120% of the production of if, if there was just people but it needs to recharge in uh, nearest source of heat so either you can build here a heater and the automation will go just to heater and back or it needs to go to the generator at the situation now i will not build the heater there yet because the heaters takes you know like uh, a huge amount of coal burned so by that i i managed to get 10 more people and we are struggling with the food as you can see we are super low on food so we gonna need to do upgrade on a food production automation our first automation is operational uh, this will help our economy greatly automations can replace entire manual labor, labor crews uh, they work around the clock <laughs> it's basically what i just said and told you uh, yeah people getting hungry that's not good so we have found another steam core great food rations great we're gonna take the resources and i'm gonna take i'm gonna go to large convoy because there are likely to be uh survivors which i need and i'm gonna bring it all to the city that's that's what i'm going to do it's four in the morning, so it's not that cold that I could not build an additional hunt. I, I need actually two, I think. Hunter's hut. Let me do additional one. What? 
people join one in years. Yeah, we are still low on ho on hope. Therefore, people are still joining the Londoners and want to leave in 15 days, which we will not let them. We're getting also sick. It's it's great. Uh, I do not have people. I need people. Where do I take people? Oh no, I cannot take them from. I can take them from here. I have 19 engineers. Why am I'm not using 19 engineers? So six here, and since I have so many engineers, I can build another medical post which I need. And we have, and uh, yes, this is exactly what we need. Hunting tactics is like a crucial, crucial thing for for food because hunters will employ fewer people. So. 10 instead of 15 so out of the one two three four five we're gonna employ only fi 50 instead of 75 people so we are getting 25 people just just here that's like super super crucial uh, da -da -da -da, crash site we have arrived crash site wood and food that's great uh, american camp we need we need more survivors let's employ five engineers here oh, see automation just going goes to recharge itself and we have people to employ here we can fill this and we can fill that we have mm -hmm. mm -mm 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 -mm. now i'm thinking I'm gonna go for coal mining because we are getting close to uh, we have plenty but the cold is coming I would need to yeah 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 yeah. let us upgrade our coal production because we will need upgrade our uh, our generator and that means it will yeah right now it's e even right now we are in you know decreasing we are consuming more than then uh, we are producing so i need to upgrade our our coal production mm, so let us research that yeah food we are still scarce on food but we will see into like like one day or two we will see how 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 are we standing it on you know food production and food consumption Scouts have reached the city. Survivors, like I said, escort survivors to the city, and we got how many? How many was that? Uh, Twenty-seven plus nineteen, thirty-seven, forty-six. Forty-six people. We can sign the new law, and that will be either neighborhood watch, triage prosthetics. This you need. After you get some frostbitten people, this you need when you have like 60, 70, 100 sick people. So I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go purpose because I want to go in a purpose tree. There is a petrol, and petrol like actively increases hope, and that's what I need right now. So do do do. We can build stuff. Uh, we need to build two watchtowers. To you know, I'm gonna do it like this. Uh, in watchtowers, if you employ just one person, it's enough. You have build the watchtowers that raises hope. That's great. Tendency. Uh, has decreased coal mine is research yeah we're gonna be fine we're gonna be fine let me build coal mine here that's that consumes our last steam core but they are coming they are coming we are super good on wood we have plenty plenty of wood explore take resources temporary settlement maybe there are some some and yeah i haven't built they are coming in 10 hours so i need to build them tents one how how many was, was that 40 I, I believe i said 47 something yeah 46 so i need five so i built two 
Go to where, 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 where should we go here? Two, three, four, five. Five, five tenths. There's no street here. And research, research. Uh, I'm thinking, I'm thinking. Lighter scouts, it improves the generator power. This is no, 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 no. Lighter scouts, let's 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 do lighter scouts, let's, because they will move faster. Or should we go? Let's how how yeah food. <laughs> it's a hard deciding, hard deciding. But l l let me do flying hunters. That will increase our production of food. That's always good. You can do extra rations. You can do stuff like that. So food is food is essential. And it's getting colder. Uh, houses, the tents are prepared. We need. And they hit our city. It's great. So we can employ 10 here. Do I have full production here? I can do full production here. So we are producing in a cook, cook house. Okay, 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 okay. Do we? What, 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 what could I do? What could I do? Uh, I need to upgrade. Yeah, we have plenty of wood. We have actually more than we need. Uh, steel productions are settled. Um, I'm thinking I'm gonna do engineers. I need engineers. I I'm gonna do this tech workshop one and two. Because I have enough engineers that I can employ them and I can, you know, speed up the uh, research process. Don't forget to send the scouts. Gloomy cave. We are fine. We are good. We are actually, actually good. Um, since we have enough wood and I don't need it immediately, let me do, let me do this. Let me pull off the automation from here and put it here that way we are producing a call around the clock 24 24 <laughs> food food temperature is falling steam cars yes score Wa wallet colony this is dreadnought landing okay okay It's it's fine. It's you know we can build. Uh, we can build two flying, and I can actually go my optimization. Steam still works. With what I am struggling the most, coal. We are fine on coal. Like super fine. On wood, we are not producing any, but we have enough. Steel. Steel and, yeah, and food. We need food, we need steel. We need food, we need steel. Okay, so let me do steel. Steam steel works. Steam steel works. And actually, you know what? Uh, I believe that we've managed to somehow to somehow, you know, survive the beginning. We've managed, uh, okay, timely intervention, sir. A child climb, climbed the generator, slipped and fell, but was thankfully caught by a neighborhood watch member who was on a patrol nearby. He then escorted the child to his mother and gave them both a good talking to. It could have ended with a broken leg or worse if it weren't for our watchman. A neighborhood commented, uh, we're lucky to have them. That raises the hope, I believe. No? Nothing? Really? Fine. Uh, but anyway, as I was saying, <laughs> we have somehow managed the, the beginning and uh, we can now expand. Let me do purpose. Let me do... Mm, 
No, no, no. Let's stick to the plan. Let's do guard station. We're gonna build guard station. We're gonna at least order them. Like here, like so. And I want to affect this as many people as possible. So, here. And... Yeah, we have nice production of uh, uh, nice nice production of coal. We have uh, great stock of uh, wood. Uh, we are working on a steel. We are working. Uh, we are green on on a food. That's great. Mm, we have everyone treated and everyone has place to stay. So I believe that we have managed to somehow establish ourselves here. Uh, so let's let's end the first episode here and uh, let's continue in the second episode where we were going to focus on expanding our production and uh, actually beginning to stockpile some things to, uh, you know, survive uh, in 14 days, uh, survive the storm. Okay, so uh, you should be able to see at screen the second video, the second part right now. And follow me there and uh, I'm looking forward to you. Bye.